What's good YouTube? We are back again with another video and today I have a different review for you guys. So we have a Kith New York Knicks jacket. This is a collaboration between Kith and the New York Knicks. They did a bunch of New York Knicks stuff. So sneakers, uptowns, Nike stuff. They did varsity jackets. This is more like a starter jacket. So it's a bomber jacket, but it has that nylon type material. They did a whole bunch of stuff that was New York Knicks inspired. So super dope. Also fun fact, Kith does the New York Knicks city edition jerseys. So I believe the last two to three years, Kith has done the designs for the city edition New York Knicks jerseys. So they obviously have a relationship. We're gonna get into the details of this jacket. Super sick jacket. I also bought these. These are like a New York Knicks Jordan one, but I felt like this is a clean colorway. I know this is a mid, so don't fry me in the comments, but I think that this is a real clean colorway. Of course, this will go great with the jacket as well. So wanted to show you the beautiful jacket that we have here. And again, this is in this nylon material. And right off the bat, we have the Kiff sign in its New York Knicks logo i mean how cool is that right really cool the way they did the new york knicks logo with the kip design as well and then we have a double stitched new york across the chest now if this doesn't look familiar this is the same new york font that we would get on the Patrick Ewing jerseys back in the early 90s. So that vintage New York font, double stitch, just like it was on the jerseys. So that's super dope to me. And then on the side, we have an orange and white stripe, regular ribbed cuffs that you would see on any starter jacket. And then on this side of the sleeve, you have your New York Nick Kith logo. Right, so an embroidered patch, really nicely done. You get your striping again, really cool. And then on this sleeve, where the striping is, you have Kith across. This is such a sick, sick jacket, man. Um, the buttons have Kith on it as well. Let me see if I can get you guys a detailed look. Right, so you see Kith there as well. Pretty dope. And what else? What else we got? We have an inside pocket. We have the Kif tags down below. And to show you the retail tags, we have Kif tags here. And then we have the Nyx Kif logo. I mean, <laughs> such a fire logo. Kif is built on the foundation of friends and family. Kith and kin, those who resonate with our belief and solidarity, belong to the tight-knit culture Kith embodies. By purchasing this item, you are a part of our family, and our family is who we represent, right? So pretty dope, and it actually has a Nyx logo on the bottom of the tag as well. Sick, man, right? And then you have a bunch of other tags, your NBA license, hologram, and trying to see if there's anything else. We have an orange inside. That bomber jacket look. This is a size 2XL, made in China. <laughs> like mostly everything is. But yeah, this is a fire fucking jacket, man. I really like the Kith brand. I think they're a pretty dope brand. I have only a few items. So I have a sweatshirt. I have this jacket. I have a hat. And I also have these, which not that I didn't realize they were Kith, but I didn't really know what Kith was about. But these are the Scotty Pippen ones in the Kith collab. And you can see the Kith right there. And what's pretty dope about that little symbol is that it would usually say Pip, but on this one it says Kith. And then you have Kith on the tongue. So this is the only Kith sneaker that I have. And just to show you what the Pip would look like on here. So that's how it looks like. Yeah, this was one of the dopest collabs. And I just liked it because the shoe was so fire, more than the fact that it was actually a Kith collab. So yeah, I don't have too many things of Kith, but I do have some. I'm more of a polo guy, but I really like the stuff that they have. Really expensive, they never go on sale. That's the one thing that I love about polo, always go on sale, always 40% off around the holiday time. So if you really want something, just wait and be patient. Unfortunately with Kith, you don't get a lot of sales because it is a high-end brand or a higher-end brand, I should say. So let me put on this jacket for you guys really quickly, right? This is a size 2XL. And it fits perfect, bro. Right, so there we have it. 
this jacket fits perfect. I love the way it looks, of course. Like I said, I'm probably going to rock it with this. I want to make sure I'm in frame. But I'll probably rock it with this. Maybe a black tee underneath. Maybe some black joggers or black jeans or blue jeans. Or a white tee underneath. Like keeping it simple, just kind of letting the kicks and the jacket stick out. That's probably how I would wear it. But this is, this is dope, man. This is dope. Representing New York. So that's always awesome. Of course, I'm from New York, Brooklyn, New York. And the Knicks on my team. I've been a depressed Knick fan for about 20 years. Last time I was actually fairly happy was around the 2012-13 year when we had Jason Kidd, Carmelo, and we got bumped out the second round. Then before that, we had to go back as far as 99 to where I was actually happy as a Knicks fan. I give the Knicks a hard time because I've been through hard times with them. But yeah, this is dope to me. Also, these can pass for the Mets. Uh, Jordan won. <laughs> so... I have a couple of teams that I can rock with this Jordan 1, which is dope to me. These are actually called the Wheaties, but it's a Nick colorway. It's always going to be a Nick colorway. It's not going to be a Cavs colorway. It's not going to be any other blue and orange team. It's always going to be the Knicks in the blue and orange. Just the most popular team in this colorway. So there's that. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, Fire Jacket. Definitely will be wearing this soon. I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see this pop up eventually. All right? On that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be out. Peace.